Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will find all the support reaction of a simply supported beam which has an axial load as shown in the figure. So here we have a simply supported beam. The total length of the beam is uh, 3 meter and from left side at 0.7 meter, one force of 5 kN is acting but that force is not acting straight downward or straight uh, left right one. So it is acting at cer certain angle and that angle is 60 degree with the horizon. Now what we will do to solve this type of problem? Again we have to find the reaction. What, what are the reaction which we will be finding? Let's say this is point A, this is point B. So as this is pin support so I will have AY, I will have AX Again, this is my assumed direction, upward and rightward. This is I am assuming. And here I will have B1. Now, what are the forces acting on the beam? All these three unknown forces, which are the reaction forces, which we will find, and one force 5 kN acting at an angle of 60 degrees. Now, what we do with this force, which is acting at 60 degrees? As I told you in the start video, in such a case, we will resolve the force into its component. So we will find its vertical component and we will find its horizontal component. Now to resolve this, what we can do? We can say that it will have the horizontal component and it will have its vertical component. Now the horizontal component here, it will be equal to, let's say this is 5 kN. So yeah, it is 5. So 5 cos theta and the vertical component will be equal to 5 sin theta. So now there are two forces acting on this uh, system. At the same point, one is acting 5 cos theta to the right and another one 5 sin theta acting to the, uh, acting down. Now this force 5 sin theta and theta is 60 degrees, so sin 60 we need to find. So we have to find sin 60, we have to multiply with 5 and if we do it, it will be equal to 4.33 kN. So we have a force 4.33 kN acting downward. We have to find the cos component 5 cos 60. You have to find cos 60, multiply with 5, you will get 2.50 kN. So we have two forces now, this 4.3 kN and 2.5 kN acting at 0.7 meter on a simply supported beam and we need to find the reaction. Similarly, what we did in the previous video or in the previous problem, we have to set our sign convention my sign convention is positive upward, positive to the right and clockwise moment are positive. So to assume the direction I have already done AY acting upward, AX to the right and BY acting upward. Now I have to apply conditions of equilibrium. If I apply conditions of equilibrium, let's say sum of all the forces in the X direction equal to zero. So I have to see what are the forces acting in the x direction. Now AX is acting in the x direction and it is to the right. And my sign sign convention say the right world forces are positive. So AX is positive. There is 5 cos theta is acting to the left. So that 5 cos theta, I will take it minus 5 cos theta equal to 0. So Ax is equal to 5 cos theta and Ax is equal to 5 cos theta we already found it here it is equal to 2.50 kN. So here in this case Ax is 2.5 kN. Now we have assumed that it is acting to the right and here we are getting positive sign so it means our assumption is right. Now to find let's say by what I will do 
I will take moment about point A. So sum of the moment about point A equal to zero. I have to write equation for the moment. Now we have A x, but A x is passing from point A, so moment about uh, point A due to A x will be zero. But we have five sine theta. Five sine theta will have moment, but five cos theta it is acting at this point. But if you see the line of action of this force of five sine cos theta, if we extend the line of action of the force, it is passing from point A. So if the line of action of a force is passing from some point, that force will not produce any moment about that point. So moment due to cos theta, the cos component will be zero, and we will have moment due to sine component only. So here I have to write, and sine component is acting downward, so producing clockwise moment. And my sine convention says that downward or positive. The moment clockwise moment are positive. So I will write pi sine theta times the distance, which is two point three. Right now, the five cos is zero, and b y will produce moment, which will be negative minus b y times the distance and total distance of the beam is how much the length total length of the beam is two point three plus zero point seven, which is three meter, and we don't have any other force that is producing moment about point A, so this will be. Zero. Now five sine theta we already found it is four point three three. So four point three three times two point three minus three b y equal zero. So from here we will find b y. We have, you have to do this multiplication, bring it to the right, and then divide both sides by three, and you will get b y is equal to. 3.3 3.32 kilonewton you have to simplify this one you will get this by here now what is left ay is left so we have to find ay how we find ay we have to take sum of all the forces in the y direction equal to 0 because ay is in the y direction and all other forces in the y direction we know it So let me take sum of all the forces in the y direction equal to zero. Now, what are the forces produced uh, acting in the y direction? A y itself is acting. It is acting upward, so that's why I'm taking positive. Minus phi sine theta is acting downward, which is again in the y direction, and plus b y is acting up. This will be equal to zero. Now a y minus five sine theta is four point three three plus b y, which is three point three two, equal to zero. So a y, we have to do this calculation. We will get that a y is equal to one point zero one kilonewton. So this is how. we found the unknown reaction forces at point a and point b which is a simply supported beam the whole system is a simply supported beam it has an axial load of 5 kN acting at an angle of 60 degree right and we found ax which is 2.5 kN we found ay 1.01 kN and we found by 3.32 kN So this is how we find the reaction forces at the support due to axial load. That's it.